It's a poor workman that blames his tools. If they don't work, make them work. You can't make them work, make some that do work. And I've been making my own tools ever since. Dr. Homer Stryker used his skills as an orthopedic surgeon and inventor to accomplish something greater than profit. He strived to create a better environment for both doctors and patients through improved medical technology and patient-centered care. Dr. Stryker's commitment to quality and innovation left a lasting legacy not just on the lives of his patients, but on the entire field of medicine. The Stryker company he developed leads the world in the field of medical technology, and today his grandchildren continue his legacy through philanthropic efforts. But think of the impact that he's had on individuals over the many decades and around the world because of the in innovation that he had in developing devices that helped solve problems. And that's really what he did in medicine. He helped solve problems that met the needs of the patients that he was caring for and now helping to solve problems of patients that a lot of physicians are caring for. So a lot of people might look at his legacy as being the worldwide corporation or being the economic impact in Southwest Michigan, but I think it really comes down to the thousands and thousands of patients that he's had an impact on the improving their health through the things that he's done. As a farm boy from rural Athens, Michigan, born in 1894, Homer Stryker found interest in tinkering and working with his hands. Coming of age during World War I, Stryker enlisted to fight on the front lines. After witnessing the death and destruction of the First World War, Stryker set out to save lives by becoming a physician. He aspired to find new ways to improve his patients' lives and medical experience. Because he was always about helping somebody else or doing something for someone and without thinking what was going to happen to him. And, and I think when you put that out in the world, that's what you will get back. And so when he starts as a doctor inventing some of these things that he was doing, as he called them as gadgets, um, and he always talked about tinkering and those kinds of things, it was all about what was going to be best for the patient and you know what, what were they going to get. And he often did things for people never being charged. The outbreak of World War II called for new medical technologies. It forced innovation to help the thousands who were injured in battle each day. Recognizing a need for better technology to help these bedridden soldiers, Stryker designed the turning frame, which was simultaneously more comfortable for the patient and easier for the doctors to use. For soldiers with burns, broken limbs, and other injuries, Dr. Stryker's turning frame sped up recovery, sending them back to the battlefield. It fit the needs of army doctors by eliminating the need to manually turn and roll patients. As news of the invention spread, Dr. Stryker began receiving orders for his turning frame bed. With the help of two assistants and his wife, Mary Jane, the doctor manufactured the frames for the military. In 1941, Dr. Stryker formed the Orthopedic Frame Company in response to the growing demand for his turning frame bed. This local business would go on to become the multinational giant now known as the Stryker Corporation. As America settled into the post-war boom, Dr. Stryker found himself tasked with keeping busy hours at Borges Hospital in Kalamazoo, Michigan, raising a family, and maintaining a company. Constantly looking for new ways to improve patient care, Stryker observed that the removal of plaster casts was an uncomfortable experience for his patients and a time-consuming process for the hospital staff. Creating a solution, Dr. Stryker patented his oscillating cast cutter in 1947. It was designed to cut through hard cast quickly without damaging the flesh underneath. The saw proved a great success, and variations of this device are still in use today. Of Dr. Stryker's many inventions, perhaps the most recognizable is the circoelectric bed, patented in 1958. An updated and motorized version of the original turning frame, the circoelectric bed kept the patient immobile while offering a wide range of adjustments, being used for burn victims, quadriplegics, and trauma patients. Dr. Stryker's innovations led to a new way of thinking about doctor-patient interactions, something we now call patient-centered care. The benefit of patient-centered care is being able to plan with the patient and accommodate any sort of um, challenges or maybe their lifestyle, and in that way you're able to 
formulate the best treatment for them, for that specific person, um, and hopefully that will yield better outcomes. His philosophy about treatment inspires the curriculum and the medical school that now bears his name. Patient-centered care is a model of uh, health care that Dr. Stryker emphasized during his practice and is something that has continued to be taught at uh, the Western Michigan Medical School to the class. We learn this uh, in lectures, we learn this uh, working with standardized patients in a simulation center, um, and it's also practiced with the clinical faculty in different settings around the community. Above all, Dr. Stryker was a doctor, not a businessman. He focused on the care of his patients, not the profits of his innovation. Under the management of Dr. Stryker and his son Lee, the Stryker Corporation was profitable, but it wasn't until 1977, when outsider John Brown became president of the company, that it truly became a driving force in its field. So John brought a completely different perspective. He endorsed what Dr. Stryker had started in terms of making good tools, but he brought a much broader perspective to the job. He also opened, not only opened up Stryker to new geographical markets and expanded its sales that way, but also opened Stryker up to new technologies. We went, started selling hips and knees and we went into endoscopy equipment, which was visualization. And that's really what made Stryker what it is today. But Dr. Stryker was first and foremost an orthopedic surgeon and not a businessman. So in 1977, right before the company went public, it was a $17 million company. That's what we sold in 1977. That's when John Brown came in. And John Brown, when he left in 2005, it was almost a $5 billion company. Dr. Stryker died in 1980, but his leadership and legacy have been preserved. His multi-billion dollar corporation continues to lead the world in medical technology innovations, and his legacy of compassion can be seen in the lives and actions of his grandchildren. All three of them carry the values they learned from their grandfather and use the money they received from the Stryker Corporation to improve their communities. It's the sense of improving things. It's always why make something better than the way it is. And I feel like everywhere I go, in this community, anywhere, where I see something happening or I see kids not um, getting education or I see something not going, I feel like I'm always trying to improve. John Stryker founded the Arcus Foundation, which is actively involved in conservation efforts and LGBTQ rights. Pat Stryker funds several programs related to poverty alleviation and public health and is an active supporter of the Colorado Democratic Party. Rhonda Stryker and her husband, Bill Johnston, worked to improve education and revitalize their community. When Dr. Stryker cobbled together his first invention, he had no plans of worldwide fortune, of creating something that would extend beyond his lifetime to help millions of people around the globe. Dr. Stryker simply wanted to help his patients, the people in his community that he cared for every day. Stryker's inventions have changed the way that modern medicine is practiced by making the healing process better for both the patient and the doctor. If you have been to a medical facility, you have been touched by Homer Stryker's legacy. It can be seen in hospital beds, surgical equipment, and even in the way your doctor interacts with you. Stryker's innovative ideas and simple values have left a lasting legacy on both the medical community and the world.